Let tip fishing. Hello, this is Captain Wayne with Black Tip Fishing Adventures. Uh, I just want to give you guys an update. Um, we had a pretty long, hard winter, a very short spring, and we had an opportunity to get out and work on our 17-foot cruise craft uh, fishing boat. It's an uh, open bow, and uh, show some video of it. And we had to do quite a bit of rehab work to it. Um, we had to completely rehab the entire boat. The hull was in pretty decent shape with a couple of nicks and cracks here and there, but the floor was rotted and uh, we had to rip out the carpeting that the guy put in, rip out the floors and the stringers and the sea foam and everything. And then we had to turn around and rebuild it all. So that was a pretty interesting and difficult task. I uh, got my neighbors to help. Um, we actually measured the floor, cut the stringers and everything, got that in there fiberglass the entire floor, put new stringers in, um, did a lot of ordering online, ordered some uh, two-part expanding foam, got the foam poured in pretty nice, got the floor laid out, and it actually turned out pretty nice. You know, got everything all fiberglass, got all the cracks filled, had a lot of gaps, had a couple problems with the measurements on the fiberglass, but we, we, we managed, we worked through it. Um, on the other side, the painting aspect, we were pretty excited about painting. Um, I don't know, I had a little snafu. I had a di diagram in my head or uh, a concept in my head as to how I wanted to paint the boat. It was going to be all black with white and red highlights, you know, accents to it. And when I got out there to um, sand the boat down and prep it and get ready to paint and start looking at the paint that we have, we actually had more red paint than black paint. So we end up changing the concept around and painting the boat mostly red and accenting it in black and white. So the boat came out pretty nice, pretty happy with that. Shot a couple videos of us um, before we painted the boat and after the boat was painted. Didn't get a chance to shoot a video of the boat being painted. Um, for obvious reasons, I was the only cameraman at the time. So. Um, my brother-in-law actually came over and helped me quite a bit on the boat. Um, we did a lot of sanding, a lot of prep work. Got it painted up pretty good. And uh, I'll show you some clips of the finished product. Um, and then we'll uh, test the engine out. That was another thing. We did a video of uh, running the engine, and I was getting ready to take it up to Lakeside Marine in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And for some strange reason, the day I was taking the boat to Lakeside Marine, I was running the engine just to get it warmed up for them, and the motor blew. So, you know, it's one of those things where it seems like Murphy's Law. Anything that can happen does happen. So, but, you know, we, we worked through it. The boat's still at Lakeside Marine now, and we're getting ready to swap the engine out. They said that it's seized up and it's not worth repairing since it's a 1975 engine. So we're going to go ahead and swap it out and probably end up with a 50 horsepower Mercury outboard on there. So, But that's all for now. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, kick these videos off and let you guys see the finished product. Um, one of the other things I did want to say, trying to rehab a boat, I made a mistake thinking that you didn't have to spend a lot of money to rehab a boat. Everything for a boat is expensive. So. Some guy told me that boat stands for bring on another thousand, yeah, a thousand dollars. All in all, I spent probably twenty five hundred dollars, almost three thousand dollars rehabbing this boat, and that's from start to finish. And right now it's finished, and now I have to dump another seven, eight hundred dollars, thousand dollars on a motor, so you know, parts and labor. And all. 